Despite a 45-minute delay due to lightning, that did not extinguish the fire at the homecoming festivities. Number two, Star Valley at number one, Powell. First quarter, Powell wearing the black. Hayden Crago's pass is tipped at the line of scrimmage, and Cole Battleson has himself an interception. He'll return the ball into enemy territory, but the Braves could not do anything with it and had to punt the ball away. The defending 3A state chance would get back to work offensively. 11 plays, 91 yards. Crago's looking for Dewey Schwan from 25 yards out, and the senior has his defender beat. The Panthers have the second-best passing attack in Class 3A, and they lead 3A in passing touchdowns. PAT no good, so it's 6 to nothing. As for the Braves, they came into this game with the best turnover ratio in the state. You saw one earlier, but this was not one of those plays. Bad exchange on the handoff. Brendan Fister recovers the fumble, and the home team would maintain their six-zip advantage after the first 12 minutes. Second quarter, Powell would cash in on that turnover. Crago with a quick screen to Schwan, and the senior's going to take care of the rest and high-step his way into the end zone from 17 yards out. He also does the kicking duties and would connect this time. So now it's 13 to nothing. How about some defense? The Panthers have the top defensive unit in 3A, and Corey Haney's going to let the opposition know why that is. These guys know how to hit somebody, and he's just a junior. Stay away from him. More defense. Crago threw one interception earlier, and this time he'll redeem himself with a pick of his own on the far side. Star Valley had the number one offense in Class 3A coming into this game, but the home team, D, held them to more than 200 yards below average. It was 13-0 going into halftime. Now that's a gentleman. You give the lady the umbrella, and you get wet. Take notes, underclassmen. Third quarter, well, from a highlight perspective, the rest of this game was pretty boring. This was the only thing worth showing as the Star Valley quarterback ended up getting swallowed by the Panther D. No one scored, so it's still 13-zip going into the final 12 minutes. Fourth quarter, the visitors had to get something going soon. It was very uncharacteristic of them to have a zero on the scoreboard, and Haney's going to make sure it stays that way with another interception. Defense dominated the second half of this game, and you're starting to see why. Last chance for the Braves, and it was not meant to be. As the snap is botched, Powell recovers. No scoring whatsoever in the second half, but if you were the home team, you didn't need it. The Panthers win the battle of undefeated teams 13 to nothing.